Hi, and welcome to a talk about vocal embodiment and how we can use it to enhance our speech. So throughout this video, you might hear how my voice changes. And that's me going into the process. So I haven't had any warm up before making this video. I wanted to come in raw and uh, share with you the transformation as it happens. So when I speak, I can choose to tune into how I'm feeling as I'm speaking. I can tune into the vibrations that I create with my voice in my body. I can choose to become aware of the emotions that I have, the feelings, the sensations, the physical sensations, and the mental movement that is there as well. If I do that as I'm speaking, I'm embodying my voice. And it's more of a process than a, than a button. But the more we do it, it becomes like a button that we press. Like, okay, let's embody the voice. And what happens when we embody the voice in speech is that the voice becomes more full. It gets more space. So the more space means bigger acoustics. And if you've been to a, a beautiful... Uh, acoustic space you know that you're saying something it will echo and it basically means that the sound gets to bounce in the room so if I open up my body if I'm allowing more of the vibrations in my throat chest and belly to reverberate it will become more full just by the space and then using the aspect of feeling the feelings, the emotions that is present right now, something magical happens. It's like, uh, it's like emotions are electricity. And if there is a current of electricity running in my body and I choose to use it in my voice, it's very different than if there is a current of electricity running in my body and I'm trying to avoid it while I'm talking. Maybe, or used to be very transparent and open, I'm, I'm feeling some uh, anxiety or sadness. Maybe there's some fear there also. I'm not exactly sure, which is fine. I don't have to pinpoint exactly what it is. I just have to invite it. So feelings are sometimes very abstract, but I still feel it. So in that sense, it's concrete. I'm feeling something. So allowing that to be there, allowing it to expand, allowing it to be moved by the voice. So it's almost like I'm reaching for that feeling with my voice as I'm talking. So talking about it helps to embody it, helps it to expand. So allowing it also makes it more present in the body. Breathing into it. Ah, and feeling it in the voice. That will help. It will be like plugging in the voice into that current of electricity and charging the voice with emotion which is power if we choose to use it and one more important aspect of embodying the voice is the breath so filling the body with the breath so that my voice can lean on my breath and be pushed out by the breath. It means I need to do less pushing of the voice to get more 
volume to get a more full voice. With that comes an important aspect, which is the speed of which I am talking. If I'm talking too fast, I would need to push certain uh, sounds or I would need to skip certain sounds. And that's what many languages has been developed to do. Uh, I know uh, especially the English and the French language and also my native tongue Swedish, we are very good with uh, making it shorter, certain words, making them shorter so we can say it faster. Now, I heard from a renowned vocal coach, coach that 80% of what I'm saying is not in the words, it's in the voice. So we are picking up more than what we might understand consciously from the voice that we hear. If there is a voice that feels very calm and nurturing, we might trust the person more than if it's a squeaky voice that is kind of making the ear goes like, ah, is to make my point. Now, if, if we take that and explore that, 80% of what I say is not the words, it's the voice, then it might be beneficial for me to slow down and give more time and space for my voice to have room to be expressed. So, basically, it's my vocal cords vibrating. And vibration needs space, it, so I need relaxation. So, very beautiful, and I think the fastest way to unlock the voice is to just gently put your hands where your throat is vibrating so you can just feel around for me it's here right now if you speak uh, if you speak with this kind of tone I mean it's different for all of us so just explore where in your throat you're vibrating right now I think you can hear my voice already changed so I noticed here was a part of my voice vocal cords part of my throat that was not fully relaxed there was some tension and I when I put my finger here I noticed the tension and I can slowly relax one step further so it creates awareness and I think that's the main thing here is to be aware of how the voice is right now and what I can do to support it so just to summarize I can slow down my tempo I can breathe in properly or let's try breathing more if I fill myself with air and allow the air to be used for the voice I don't need to push as much so it's it's different from breathing in and then breathing out before I talk is not gonna help my voice as much as if I would breathe in and then kind of lean my voice on my breath. And then I can use my emotions to charge the voice, putting emotion into my words and my voice and that will amplify what I'm saying as well. I think these are uh, the main three parts. I also talked about inviting the sensations in the body, which is becoming aware, and also the thoughts that is running through. What happens when we start to embody the voice is that I need to think less of what I want to say 
and I can feel more what is in my body and what wants to be conveyed. And it's almost like I'm giving space for my voice to go, to go for it. And then I can just relax and allow my voice to take me on this journey, which is my speech. So if you found this interesting, if you have any questions, please comment below. And I'm looking forward to sharing more of these beautiful techniques and uh, tools that I've been stumbling upon on my journey. So enjoy your day and uh, let's have a deep breath and a sigh and let's give more space to the voice. Ah.